Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we are back in DCS World and in the Mission Editor and we're going to have a look at how we can set up our AI aircraft uh, to attack a target. So let's go ahead and get into it. What I've done is I've already pre-placed a uh, target that I want that I'm going to set up our aircraft to go and attack. Just something like this, something quick and easy, nothing too complicated about it. So go ahead, go ahead and set that up on the ground there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the aircraft that we want our AI aircraft to be. So if we click on our left aircraft over here, and I want uh, an F-16. Uh, once he goes out saying you can choose any ground attack aircraft. And let's just go ahead and place him here. Let's put him up at 10,000 feet. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, give him uh, the our aircraft a name and all that sort of stuff doesn't really have any effect. Um, one thing that we do want to do though is change the task of the aircraft. Our aircraft is not going to be carrying out a cap mission, it's going to be carrying out a ground attack mission. Okay, so next we will go ahead and select our payload for the aircraft. Uh, and let's just give it, um, there we go, some Mavericks. That'll do the job nicely, I think. Lovely. So. We can go ahead and if we add our first waypoint for the aircraft. So there. Come down here to the conditions that we can add to that waypoint or the actions we can add to that waypoint. We want to uh, perform the task. The action we want to carry out is bombing. And as you see here, it creates a little uh, diamond linked to that waypoint uh, for where we want. So what we need to do is just drag that diamond over the target. So let's just zoom in and make sure we're placed on the target. There we go. So this is a quite a pinpoint um, method of doing it. You can, there are other ways of uh, select, uh, having your aircraft choose a target. However, that's slightly different and outside the scope of this tutorial. And I'll cover that in another one. Uh, next, now we've placed our di uh, triangle on the target, we can go ahead and give it some parameters if we wanted to. Now I want the AI to use its own initiative here, so I'm going to leave the weapon at auto. The release quantity is going to be automatic as well. I only want the aircraft to attack the target once. If uh, I wanted to do it multiple times, I can increase that however many times I want, but I only want it to attack the target once. Uh, it's not going to be a group attack because I've only got one aircraft. The direction, I'm not bothered about the direction. I will let the uh, AI determine the best direction it will attack from. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not bothered about how high I want the uh, our aircraft to attack from. And I'm not bothered about if the aircraft dive bombs or not. Okay, so that's our parameter set. Our weapons are selected. And we are happy. So let's go ahead and have a look inside the mission and see what it does for us. So here we are in the mission now. We've got our F-16 with our Mavericks and he's now flying to his first waypoint. Once he's at his first waypoint, he should go ahead and uh, turn towards our target that we selected, he says. Let's just speed things up a little bit. Okay, so now he's ingressing towards the target. Hopefully he should. There we go. Fired the weapon. Uh, now, how do I get... There we go. So, hopefully we should... In fact, here we go. That's a better view. So, you can see our Maverick. Hang on. Let's just speed things up for us here. You can see our target come into view there. Right on the nose of the Maverick. Boom. Shack. Nice. That target is no more. It will go back to our aircraft. You can see it just down there. Okay, so that's one way we can use uh, the mission editor to attack a target. I hope you found it useful, so you can get creative with it if you wish. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I and I will try to answer them where I can. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.